Welcome to Binge Watchers, where we talk about the stories and characters we love and the shows they live in. My name is Ron, and let's talk about the five best TV shows of all time. The best ever. The best ever. I feel like most list videos I watch start with an almost defensive disclaimer about how this is just an opinion and it's going to be different from your opinion. So I want to change that up a little bit and say that these are my top five favorite TV shows. These are fact. And if you disagree, then you are wrong. Having said that, you're welcome to let me know what are your wrong shows. Wrongy McRongerson. So what makes a show a favorite show? What makes you love a show? Because you often find yourself loving a show that isn't necessarily the best written or the best acted. The show just makes you feel something. For me, it's often character more than it is plot. I think that you can have a great story with great characters and an okay plot, but you can't have a great story with a great plot and characters that are just kind of like, Meh. Okay, let's do this. Number five, Rick and Morty. Every other show on this list had to have like a sink in period. I watched the show, I thought about it for a while, and then I realized that I was in love with it. Rick and Morty is a show that after just a few episodes, I felt like this, this, yes, th this, this. Other than just being super well animated and funny, Rick and Morty constantly tackles this idea of cosmic horror. The fear of the unknown, of realizing how your life is affected by forces beyond your control, or how meaningless life actually is. Rick and Morty takes this on through a character who understands the insignificance of everything and embraces it, revels in it. This show is a playground for ideas and creativity and comedy, and it's incredible. It has everything I love from soul-crushing introspection to fart jokes. It's hilarious, it's sad, it's brilliant, and I love everything about this show. Number four, I almost didn't want to put this in this list due to obviousness, but Breaking Bad. There's a reason Breaking Bad is so widely regarded as one of the best TV shows of all time. It strikes an incredible balance of heavy-hitting drama, amazingly compelling characters, style, and even quite a bit of humor. Breaking Bad is not just Walter White being a fascinating character and compelling villains or a genuinely interesting story or clever and fun cinematography and style and unbelievably good performances. It manages to be all of those things but still somehow be greater than the sum of its parts. I don't think it's perfect, no show is, I don't think it's the best show ever, but it's pretty damn close. I love dramas, I love stories about ordinary, everyday people who get thrown into extraordinary situations, and I love Breaking Bad. And I also love how it ends and the fact that it ends. Breaking Bad went on for just long enough, not a second longer than it should have, not a lot of shows do that. Number three, Oz. Oz tells stories about life in prison, specifically the Oswald Correctional Facility, specifically, specifically Emerald City, an experimental unit within the prison which tries to emphasize rehabilitation while incarcerated. Spoiler alert, it doesn't always work due to death, death by other prisoners. This is one of the hardest hitting shows out there, to the point that sometimes it's actually hard to watch. Not because they show stuff that's like gore and disgusting and stuff that makes you want to look away, but because of the very real and believable evil of the characters in this show. The setting in Oz is an incredibly harsh environment and it pushes people to the brink of humanity. Characters go through crazy transformations in this show and it's all done with performances and writing that makes everything feel uncomfortably real, while in between you get those incredible Augustus sequences that are often just poetry. This show is definitely not for everyone, but the last time I watched it must have been like eight years ago and I still very much remember it. So. This is a show that stays with you. Number two, Sons of Anarchy. So this should actually be number one. Sons of Anarchy is my favorite show, but you'll see what I mean in just a little bit. Characters and relationships between characters is what makes a show for me and it what makes me remember and love a show. 
I don't think that Sons of Anarchy is the best show out there, but it's my favorite. And it's actually my wife's favorite as well. Because of how much we ended up caring about these characters. There's probably better cinematography, writing, and performances in Breaking Bad. And I think Sons of Anarchy ran for a full two seasons too long. But when you ask me about my favorite show, Sons of Anarchy immediately comes to mind. It's the characters, the depth of the relationships, and of course the great performance and writing that flesh them out. Sons of Anarchy is a brutal show. It's violent, sometimes excessively violent, but each storyline got me so involved in the emotional state of the characters. Every time they got to the part where something paid off or a character died, I genuinely cared about the characters, so I felt it with them and it was incredible. I don't think I ever got as invested in a show as I have with Sons of Anarchy. Well, except number one, Doctor Who. So the reason I said Sons of Anarchy is my favorite show is because it is. As a TV show, story, all that, it's my favorite. Doctor Who is more than a TV show for me. It's my fandom, I guess. There are complete seasons of Doctor Who that I don't think are great, which is part of the reason it's not an easy show to get into. It's really the character of the Doctor that you get attached to, or more like the concept of someone like the Doctor. At this point, Doctor Who is a heightened experience for me, so bad episodes are terrible for me, and amazing episodes give me a feeling that no other show does. The two last episodes of season 9, for example, Heaven Sent and Hell Bent, kicked my ass with how good I thought they were. Watch my season 9 review for more on that, but it's the same reason that I kinda hated the last Christmas special. Doctor Who is a complete universe to get lost in, and it's a wonderfully tragic character to fall in love with. It's an investment. I only really got into Doctor Who about season 4 of the new show, and that's where I started going back and watching a lot of classic Doctor Who episodes. There are some really great ones. The more I watched, the more I became immersed in the Doctor Who universe, but specifically in the character of the Doctor. Once you're familiar with the Doctor, you see the weight of everything that came before in each decision he makes. That's why I love Capaldi's Doctor so much. He captures that sadness that hides behind the Doctor's eyes. There is no show that moves me to my core like Doctor Who. Even when it's being crazy and over the top and silly, I legit cried when I watched the 50th anniversary. I love Doctor Who and I love the things it stands for. If you don't like Doctor Who or any show on this list, we can still be friends. But one day, if I have a kid and she doesn't like Doctor Who, we're gonna have a problem. Okay, so let me know what are your top five. Let me know down in the comments. Now I kind of want to do specific top fives, like top five sci-fi shows or top five police shows. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. And if you're finding binge watchers for the first time, welcome. I'd like to invite you to join the binge watchers community. Come talk about TV with us. It's a lot of fun. Subscribe to the channel or click around to check some of, check out some of the other videos we have on, up on the channel. English is not my first language. Keep binging and I'll see you next time.